Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of the Civil Canadians. I'm Scott Avey and I'm with Good Looking Kansas. How you doing? I'm feeling good, Scotty. You don't sound good. Yeah. Even though I might have a cold, I think you're dying over there, man. I think I'm dying. I can't breathe. My, th- my, uh, th- my throat is sore. I can't do anything. Remember, Scotty, you're just human, after all. Okay? <laughs> I see what King you is there. whatever, but you know what? At the same time, you're I a see. trooper. You haven't missed one show. I'll give you that. <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, there you go. See? You know, King busted knee. King uh, sore throat. Pneumonia. Bronchitis. You can name it on and on and on. Yeah. You? You're still here. Sick a couple of props, times. Buddy. Sick a couple of times, you know, sick at home, still made it. Superman has nothing on you, my friend. That's nope. all I have to say, okay? <laughs> all right, Scotty, let's talk about our one topic Friday okay. episode today. So we're gonna today we're gonna be talking about the Avengers Infinity War, I guess updates and trailers and all that. And crap. all that fun stuff so over the last week or basically so. Basically right? how we talked about Justice League last week. This week is going to be Avengers. So it's Avengers time to shine, basically, yes. is what we're saying. Okay, so... Let's do it, Scotty. The trailer, uh, we're thinking, may drop either Thor, Black Panther, or in December. Mm-hmm. But more news has come out think, uh, saying that uh, it's most likely going to drop after Star Wars. So in December, is yeah. what you're saying. So we're probably going to get a Black Panther story trailer first, and then we'll get Infinity War, which I think makes more sense, because we only got a Comic-Con teaser... Yeah, or even, even that was that. like kind of whatever little footage, and there's a reason why we didn't get that one, right? Scott? And it wasn't finished CG either, right? Yeah, so. it's just kind of just to make people think, hey, guys, we are filming this just to satisfy our mm. thirst for uh, knowledge or to kind of <laughs> see what's going on, you know? Yeah, and in this trailer, I think we're going to get more stuff, better th- CG and all that. We're Definitely. Not, we're not going to see the stuff we saw in the leaked trailer. No, that's gone. That's that done was, and over with. That was just like a sizzle reel, putting things together. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, what do you think you, you're going to see in this trailer? Scotty, we're going to see like more. That. I think we're going to see a little bit more of the <coughs> plot. We're not going to see the complete plot, but we're going to no. see, I think, the key players in it. Okay. I think you're going to see if Loki plays more of a part, you're going to see, well, a, th- uh, what do you call it? Of, of course, Thanos' angle is getting the gems, but maybe you're going to see more of his minions. Mm-hmm. Who's working with him? The Black Order, yeah. You know, and uh, if Loki's helping him, or is he not? Well, Loki, what I think Loki's going to do is help the Avengers, but when he gets the Tesseract, he's going to deliver He's going to go on the winning side. Yeah, he's going to give it to Thanos like he promised. Because if the, if he didn't deliver the Tesseract, Thanos, Thanos is pretty much going to rip Loki's head off. Pretty much. So he's kind of like being a double spy is what you're saying. He's pretty working much. with the Avengers until the absolute last moment. He's going to go, here you go. Yeah, because, you know, you're, you're going to win. So I'm going to be on your side on this on. one. And he'll turn his back on Thor for the final time, you think, and that will be it pretty much? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know what? It's going to be good. Like you said, I think you're right. Uh, it won't be during Thor we're going to get a new... doesn't make sense like you were talking about earlier. It will be Black Panther. If we're going to get one earlier, it will be Christmas. I'm thinking, Scotty, it will be in December. But I think it's going to be before Star Wars. You think the so? The first week of December is what I'm feeling. Because that will kind of lead into, you know, Disney's... Oh, next is Star Wars. And then it's Black Panther. And mm-hmm. So now, Scotty, do you think it's going to be like a post-credit... End credit, what do you think we're going to see no. for this Infinity thing? So from the early t- reviews and all that from Thor, there is two post-credit scenes. Okay. Nothing to do with the Avengers. So it's going to be, so what, when it does drop, it's going to be an actual trailer. You don't think it's going to be any? No. Will it be maybe a little bit more advanced? You know how the Marvel movies interconnect with each other? Yeah. You think in Black Panther, we might get a little bit of an extra teaser just yeah, before so kind of thing? The Black Panther, the if they do two, the last one would be a teaser of uh, Infinity War. That's gonna connect it. So probably be like Thanos or something. He's on his ship or what? Or he, he got putting the space, on the glove or something again. Space gem or whatever. Okay. Because technically he has to go to Asgard. That's right. To retrieve whatever he has to from there and go from there. Ham Hamdal or Hela have the. Soul, soul gem, right? Yeah. So he has to go there eventually. So. And you know what? You might be right. And then maybe Hell will have that over Thanos. That's why he doesn't have the whole thing maybe at the end of Ragnarok, the three. Yeah. Because he'll have to kind of weasel it away from Hela or win Hela's heart to mm-hmm. trust him so she can give it to him. Mm-hmm. Kind of. You like? know what I remember? What's got uh, The director uh, from Thor, he tweeted at James Gunn and he's like, do I really have to use the purple guy in my movie? A long mm. time ago. So who knows who this so, purple guy is? <laughs> we all obviously know who the purple guy is. Is Thanos, yeah. right? Yeah. So 
I'm, if for him to say that, and James Gunn said, yeah, you have to use him. So maybe that's what we're going to get, Scott. I don't it's, think it's a post credit scene Thanos is going to show up in. You think he's going to show up right near the end? And he's going to... before the end. And that kind of explains how Thor ends up on the windshield of the... Yeah, because... In space? For, I'm pretty sure Thor has, like, those friggin'... Uh, not Thor, Thanos has, like, those digital screens where he can see everything in the universe. And, you know, and he's going to do something to Thor you to can, claim that you stone, see, you think? Because when we saw the leak trailer, Thor was kind of sleep, in sleep mode. Yeah. And he hit the Guardians' Almost sh- like ship. he got knocked out into space or something, and that kind of knocked him out. Maybe he fought Thanos at the end, and Thanos knocked the hell out of him, and he went Could flying. be, with a little... Get out of here, you little whatever yeah. you want to call it. Swat him away, and he ends up into the galaxy and yeah. landing on to landing the, on Guardians the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? So for Thor to land on the Guardian ship, it was a pretty big punch. Because you, or, you know, the it, Guardians, has, it has to be. The Guardians can be anywhere in the universe, exactly. Right? So for him to travel that far, <laughs> yeah, and bump into him, yeah. So that's something that else, makes right? sense. Cool, Scotty. So anyway, Scotty, that's what the trailer. Yes, let's talk about characters. Characters. I know there's a lot of photos that were on the interweb. Yeah, so a lot of the ca- uh, character cutouts were in some Comic-Con thing. In Europe, I think there was a lot yeah. of uh, posted there, and people were taking photos of them. Yeah, the one, there was a couple that stand out. Which one stand out? Uh, the, I'm going to just list them. It yep. was uh, Black Panther suit, yep. Iron Man suit, mm-hmm. Thor's new ultimate suit, Thanos with all his armor, and Black Widow's new costume. Yep. So I'm going to talk about Thanos first because yes, Thanos is go ahead. Like the biggest bad guy out there. He's the guy. He didn't have his armor like how we saw in the first Guardians mm-hmm. and in the end of Age of Ultron okay. because if he has all six stones, why do you need his armor? Not only that, Scotty, you're not going to fight with the kind of like, does a king fight with his robe and his crown? No. no. He takes it off and he gets down to basic so he can maneuver and beat the crap yeah. out of people. And I would assume that his armor is too much for him to handle. And he has the six gems. Well, he's not going to have all six. He's probably going to have three, Close out of, to them, yeah. three out of the six, right? Mm-hmm. And he's just going to be beating the crap out of the Avengers. There you go. The Hulk can be jumping on top of Thanos, punching him, and Thanos won't even move a muscle. I, I can't wait to see. That's what I'm dying for. I want to see two big titans going at like Hulk versus Hulk. Thanos. I just want to see Hulk just punch and Thanos, like, but Thanos is not Swat moving. him away like a yeah. fly. He's not moving a muscle. He's like, hey, you think you're stronger than me? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like, is that supposed to hurt? Fly, so, boom, and just kind of flick him. Because cool. Josh Brolin's voice, his deep voice, oh, yeah. as That's Thanos, sick. Holy macaroni and cheese. How about Scotty Black Widow? I noticed that uh, she has some sort of staff. Yeah, and her she costume's has costumes a little different there. Different uh, costume. She has a staff, and she has blonde hair too. I think that's all have to do with the <coughs> Captain America angle, like going underground. It's because of Civil of, War. You know, exactly. Because she broke the Sokovia Accords. Okay. So she had to. She had to run Go underground away. with uh, the cap. <coughs> If you don't, saying. if you don't understand why, if you didn't watch Civil War, mm-hmm. she kind of helped Captain America and Winter Soldier escape. Exactly. So she had to go on the run. So she uh, crossed the side because Iron Man said something to her right near the yeah. end. You better. She's like, uh, uh, he's like, um, also this double agent you can't shake off. Oh, that pissed her off. She's like, yeah. Oh, see a leader. She's see like, ya. You couldn't put your uh, ego f- away for a good second or whatever. She's, yeah. She said something. I don't remember. She insulted him lines. back. Well, let's yeah. just say that. And and it was true though. Yeah. And she just kind of vanished. Bye. See ya. One with Cap. Yeah. We haven't seen her since. I would go with Cap too. You know, yeah. Scotty. So anyway, Scotty, that's enough with the costumes and stuff. Yeah. Now, now I want to talk about the other rumors out there. Maybe some speculation, or we can have some. <laughs> To that speculation because mm-hmm. we got theories of our own yeah thus theories in our title <coughs> as well so uh scotty what do you think about this whole uh what do you call it the hawkeye thing you mentioned. yeah the angle there because people so, are chirping about this one so jerry jeremy remner was uh, spotted on set he had his hair cut really short mm-hmm. and he had some tattoos on his arms i don't think he has tattoos in real life does he I don't think so. But his whole, I think, right arm, arm yeah. was full of tattoos. So people believe he's become Ronin. Ronin, Ronin character. Yeah, that's Ronin. when he puts on that ninja outfit with swords and he goes crazy. <coughs> I don't know. I didn't even know this was a character. So I couldn't yeah. really tell you what this character is all about. The king remembered Scotty, but it was so long ago that, honest to God. So in the comics, he lost family. Is that what happened? I think so. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to say yes, and then you guys put all the hate mail on there. <coughs> but something obviously happens to him that he becomes this character, and he's on a vendetta. So now I wonder how they're going to spin that for Infinity War. So that probably Thanos is going to kill his family. You think so? And that's going to set him off, and he's going to go crazy. Crazy either to join or maybe, him or go against them. Or maybe not kill because that's too extreme for Disney. Maybe Thanos is going to trap him, 
put him in like some cage, like what he probably did with Red Skull. Okay. And then Hawkeye's gonna think they're dead, but they're not actually dead. Or is he gonna blackmail into him to become one of his minions to help him out to get what Could he be. needs? But I don't think they really want to blackmail Hawkeye again. Yeah, they brainwashed him in the, the first, one. first one. So maybe this one's going to be even severe. They're going to say, listen, you have to do this. If you want your family alive, you know the Avengers. I need this. Go maybe, get that. Or maybe he did kill him, and he's like, you want him to come back? I'm the only one who can bring him exactly. back. Exactly. So do what I say, and you'll get him back. Well, if he has the Mind Stone, if he takes the, the Mind Stone from Vision, he can just do it anyways. I don't know, Scotty. Any man in their right mind will do anything to get his family back. So, you True. know what? It's, it's going to be interesting it's, to see. It's I better, love it. It's I better, love that. It's better to do it on your free will instead of being mind controlled to see, do it. See, Scotty, too. The, th and the thing is with Hawkeye, there was nothing really going on for him in the Avengers movies or even the other Marvel movies. And this is, like I think, a good way to reinvent him again, mm -hmm. to make him more relevant and interesting. Mm -hmm. And what a way to have him turn and become this Roman <coughs> character mm -hmm. that's totally opposite from shooting arrows and all that to actually using swords and dressing up like a freaking ninja there yeah, i ninja. can't wait for that <laughs> that's so cool uh the other one scotty so the captain america so thing. what do you think what are we going to see what version of cap are we going to see in this film okay we're still going to see steve rogers but okay. he's not going to be captain america in the beginning of the movie he's going to be nomad you think yeah the man without gonna, no country or whatever he, the hell that we story saw, was when we saw him in the leak trailer he had this black costume the nomad mm -hmm. and he was uh, he had a beard on. Yeah. So, you know what? In the beginning of the movie, he's going to be Nomad. It's going to get to a point where they have to reassemble the Avengers. And he's going to have to put the He's going to put Captain America suit back on. And he's going to be Captain America. One more time. One more time. And then. We'll see what happens. There. I he's going to survive. I he's going to die. I think the fourth whatever. Avengers. The fourth Avenger. He's not going to die. What I think he's going to. What Thanos is going to do. He's going to age his body to the point where he can't be Captain America anymore. He's going to be like Petty Carter in the mm -hmm. bed dying. And then... See, apparently Bucky. she's supposed to be back, Scotty. A flashback. You think it's going to be a flashback? Flashback or a vision. I don't know, man. I'm thinking they're going to bring her back. If they're going to use that time thing and they're going to maybe reverse time, she might maybe. be... Maybe. Because Thanos is going to use everybody's weakness. Of course he is. He's going to make them suffer. If you watch the cartoon, the Avengers cartoon, when they were battling Thanos... Mm -hmm. He had every. He knew everybody's weakness, and he used. And he used it against. He them. Used it against them, and I think Captain America was the only one that uh, got out of it because he used Thanos used the Mind Stone, mm -hmm. and uh, in the cartoon, uh, they caught Thanos. Red Skull surrendered. Okay. And Captain America's like, he just surrendered. That's not like him. Yeah. Kind of snapped out of it. So there you go. It didn't make sense to him. It didn't make sense, and Captain America is not stupid, so he can snap out of anything. See, Scotty, what I'm thinking too, if he doesn't die, because you know Marvel doesn't usually keep their people. There's, there's always someone, some way that they survive. Is maybe that they'll use Red Skull. If that's a rumored character to come back, that maybe he's gonna get stuck in another dimension with him, mm -hmm. chasing him. Mm -hmm. So that's how we're gonna lose Cap. Mm -hmm. And someone else is going to have to be Captain America until he returns sometime in the distant future. That could be a possibility because if they're not going to kill him, because if you kill Cap, that's going to have an impact on the whole entire MCU. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, there'll be a tear coming down the king's face. I don't know, Scotty. I don't know, Scotty. Are you going to share a tear there or whatever if Cap bites it? Yeah, Captain America is my favorite. But I think you're right. It won't be this one. It'll be the following one. It'll be one. the fourth one. You know, I think so, too. Because you know? he was spotted on set and he had his face shaved so. oh so he's back to normal right mm -hmm. uh the other thing scotty like i said is there any other oh talk about those two uh characters on the uh the, the cutouts the dead that, characters yeah that's supposed to be that are on there and you're like so Aha, the, we gotcha so in that cutout we saw two dead characters we saw yandu mm -hmm. and we saw the ancient one there you which go it's kind of interesting because they're dead so how the hell are they promote because if they're just going to be flashbacks they're not going to have them in the promotion material Scotty. i can i can see the ancient one because they just buried her body but yondu they kind of burnt it they kind of cremated it but you know the, that stone or doctor strange can reverse time or whatever the hell it's going to be and they can bring these people back yeah true. you know that right true but how would you do it without a body can you do it of course you can you just turn back know. time man okay you know that it's i don't know comic, scotty you can do anything but i know it's comic. you know that but they can do it trust me you gotta think realistically too but you can't not with these movies man if you think realistically <laughs> will we have a venue on the screen okay fine if right come on Scott. Come on, so come that on, means come on. wolverine's gonna show up in a portal hey Hugh Jackman, next thing you know, it's you like, just, what the hell is he imagine, doing there? Just imagine Thanos opening that portal like in the Avengers. All of a sudden you see Wolverine just come from the sky. Hey, or, or, or even the Fantastic Four. What do you want? <laughs> and just leave. 
Uh, Fantastic Four better show up. <coughs> hey, could be possible. It could even be uh, Phase Four. Mm -hmm. You know, Avengers Four. Yeah. I'm thinking it's more that than this one. You might get maybe a couple hints at him. You know, maybe Thanos will make a reference, Scotty. I don't yeah. know. It's like, please, you're like those you know, four people that, that think That'll the be best. interesting. And, uh, Scotty, I think that's pretty much it, man. Is there yeah. anything else you would think of? I, I know there were speculations, guys, that we heard that Silk was in the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming thing and that maybe she might be a part of uh, the whole Avengers thing. But I don't know. I think she's such a small character to be involved in that. I think it would have characters like the Red Skull being brought back. Mm-hmm. Because he didn't die, he got stuck in another dimension, he got, right? He got teleported somewhere. So maybe Thanos might be using him as a pawn to do what he needs to do to get to Cap and all these other guys and draw out the heroes. You know what would be interesting? If they, if Thanos sent Red Skull back to Earth. To kind of do his bidding and kind of like sucker them or, out so he can get them out in the open and do what he needs yeah, to do. Yeah, or maybe Thanos wants Red Skull to do some damage before he comes, but Red Skull warns Captain America... Some, or something's coming. Or Scotty, what? Red Skull turns on Thanos at the end of the three to keep him from getting all the stones, and he takes off with the gauntlet or one or two stones to kind of prolong the part two or leading it to the next one. Mm, That'd be kind of cool, like Red Skull pulling the fast one on that on him. Well, because if you think well, you like, can't trust that guy. The, I'm not gonna trust him. <laughs> Would you trust him, Scotty? Uh, Thanos didn't trust anybody. He just. Gave him work to... He's going to let his guard down, or maybe even Hela might turn her back on Thanos. Because she will want the power for herself. Is she, she confirmed for Infinity War? Yes, she is. Is she? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. She's going to be showing up on that one, buddy. And mm -hmm. mark my words, you know, guys, they're stupid. When they're in love, they let their guard down, and then they get kicked in the you-know-what. Yeah, they can't right? And trust me, balls. women are smart. They'll do anything. And with her wanting all that power for herself, she is the goddess of death. She might want it for herself. Mm -hmm. So there's so many angles that Thanos, like I said, for him not to come in in three and just kind of decimate everybody and that's it. <laughs> something has to happen major that turns the tide in the, fa in the favor of the heroes, even though it's not them doing it, but someone else wanting the power from them. That's what I'm thinking, you know? That's speculation, my theory, you know? But until we see that trailer, like you said, Scotty, in December or, you know, during Black Panther, mm -hmm. I can't wait. So anyway, Scotty, I think uh, we ran out of uh, theory, speculation, details, headlines, you name it, the works in this episode. So uh, yeah. sign us off, buddy. Let's go. All right, if you Let's guys get out of here. like this episode, hit a like, share, subscribe. Check out our trailer reactions we did and my Gotham, too. All right. Till then, you want to add anything else? Guys, uh, check us out next Tuesday yep. for our new episode. Alrighty, take care. Take it easy. Bye.